How to eat like your ancestors. Whether you're a paleo fan or not, there's certainly common ground between those who follow the diet and everyone else. Obviously, our ancestors were doing something right when it came to eating and exercise. So, what did your ancestors eat? They ate the foods that were readily available to them. So in regards to eating like your ancestors and the paleo diet, this means the majority of us will eat plenty of lean meats, fish but not a whole lot dairy products, beans, or cereal and grains. Food wasn't simply grabbed off a shelf, tossed into a cart and driven to back to the house in your SUV. Nope, it was hunted, killed, prepared and cooked. Nowadays, heart disease and health issues related to eating, overeating, is commonplace even with advances in technology, our lifespans are shortening as lifestyle choices create epidemics far out of our control. Or so it seems, most people just not to control and overindulge in foods that are just unhealthy. You read stories all the time about little kids are obese and 20-some year olds are suffering heart attacks. So where exactly did we go wrong, and how do you get out of an unhealthy eating habit? If you take a look at countries who still practice subsistence farming, which is farming on a smaller scale and food is primarily grown for use by the farmer and his family, vs commercial farming, where the primary objective is to make a profit from growing produce and they have to grow and even hunt the food they consume, you will notice some things haven't changed much over time. The health problems related to bad eating habits in these countries falls more along the lines of undernutrition than the issues we have elsewhere that are a result of overconsumption. But there is clearly an issue in industrialized countries where while we grow food to live off of, we also mass produce and process a much larger amount. The reality is that it wasn't until about 10,000 years ago or so when our diets shifted from only those things we could hunt, fish and gather towards the place we're in today, a fast food joint on every corner. Due to the fact that the number of hunter-gathers left in the world are so slim, researchers are trying to learn about their way of life before it's too late. While the development of agriculture seemed to be a step in the right direction, it's up for debate when we take a look at the current health state of the majority of the world's population. In an article in National Geographic, titled The Evolution of Diet, studies were done on the Mayan population that may be indicative of what exactly happened to our health as a result of a shift in the foods we consumed and the methods in which food was obtained. Until the 1950s, diabetes was unheard of amongst the Maya. However, when they shifted their diets towards a more western, sugar-heavy, diet, diabetes occurrences skyrocketed and went through the roof. There may be some tie, too, between the ways we prepare food nowadays compared to how we used to. With advanced cooking methods, we serve and consume meat in a very digestible form, whereas our ancestors were eating raw or minimally cooked meats in particular. The energy required by our bodies to break down the meats we consume is pale in comparison to the amount of work our bodies used to have to do. Whatever way you look at it, it's quite obvious that whatever happened between then and now isn't a shift in the right direction. Instead of dying from sicknesses that went untreated due to lack of medical care and resources, we're dying off from lifestyle diseases we've brought onto ourselves amidst the greatest medical technology of any modern age. So, with all that we now know, perhaps the best we can do is to ensure that we are doing our part to eat and stay healthy in a fashion that is as close to our ancestors as possible, this wouldn't be a bad case of history repeating itself.